over the years of trading, I've come to understand that you can't go wrong trading alongside with the market trend. I took a set trade on which half index trading alongside with the market trend. And you can see I'm moving in good profits. Trade is moving nicely well. So what's my market approach on this index? What's my market analysis? I'll be sharing all of that with you guys in today's video. So first, I went to the daily time frame and identified the market structure. That's the first thing I do. Identify the market direction. So we got this option at this point. Market was in an option at this point, getting higher highs and higher lows. I identified this market structure and we saw there was a break of trend at this zone. We had the market break out of this uptrend, start creating lower highs and lower lows at this point. So I identified this market structure as well. Market creating lower highs and lower lows. So while this market is in an uptrend, our focus should be more on the buy side of the market. Why our focus should be on the sell side at this point because we've seen the market creating lower highs and lower lows heading to the downside. So I identified every bit of this market structure and trend. So we got at this point, market was creating higher lows and higher highs at this current level heading to the upside at this zone. So identify this market trend as well. This is trading alongside with the market trend following the market direction. So we got the market creating higher highs and higher lows at this point. So our focus should be on the buy side of the market at this point. We should be looking out for buy opportunities at this zone. What the break of this uptrend, market side creating lower highs and lower lows at this zone. So I identify this market structure as well. So our focus should be on the sell side of the market. So I took myself at this point. I didn't just get into trade at this zone. I went to the lower time frame to identify the market formations and structures as well to have a good entry point. So after identifying the market trend, next thing I do is identify the market key levels and zones. We got this level as a key level, a level of resistance because we've seen the market react on this level. Market sold from here, it sold from here. We got a reaction at this point. Market sold from here as well. So we've seen that this level is a key level, a level of resistance. We got our level at this point as well, a level of support here. Market has always bought on a test of this level. Market bought from here as a support, bought from here as a support, bought from here as a support. And we still got the price at this point as a support. The market is still rejected on this same level. With this bullish candlestick formation before we got these rejections at this point that forms this candlestick week and the sales expected at this point because the market is in a downtrend i'm expecting a break of this support level i'm expecting more sales in the coming days on 25 index and we have this level two as a key level another important level you have to identify this level is a level of support at this zone it was a level of support here a resistance at this point a resistance here the resistance at this zone, the resistance at this zone. So this is a key level. We're likely to get the market sell to this zone to react on this level. So let's shout out for this zone as a possible buy level in the coming days on 25 index. So I was able to get into it at this point. I went to the forward time frame and saw that the market was creating this lower highs formation. We had the structure at this point basically. We had the market formation at this zone. Identify this market trend as well. This current market trend. I always make sure I'm working alongside with the market trend. You see the market is in a downtrend at this zone. So identify the market structure at this point. We had the previous market formation, the previous market trend at this zone. There was a break of trend at this point. Market was in an uptrend, creating higher highs and higher lows. So this trend got broken basically. This trend got broken, so I had to identify it as well. Remember the market is in an overall downtrend at this point creating lower highs and lower lows heading to the downside and inside this overall downtrend we got this mini uptrend market creating higher highs and market creating lower lows at this point so i identified the market formation and went to the one hour time frame to spot my market key levels and zones properly so i can have a good entry so we had this level as a key level a level of support broken on resistance we had the market reaction on this zone as a support market bought from here bought from here this level got broken, support broke with hundred distance. You can see it got the retest at this point. Market sold to the downside. We also had another key level at this zone. The trade is moving in good profit. You can see how well the trade is moving. We are moving in good profit. So we had this level as a key level. So the market bought from here as a support. This level got broke. I suppose to get the retest on this level as support broke with hundred distance. Then it sells to the downside. But the market failed to sell from this zone. We got the break back inside this level. This level got broken, retested. As a resistance, the sell to the downside. We got the second retest at this zone. We didn't really get a proper retest at this point. This break and retest is not really a proper retest. But the market came to give a proper retest at this zone, which we got here. So on the retest of this level, we had a candlestick formation, a nice candlestick formation, which gave me my sell entry idea. So we got this pin bar formation at this zone. I knew the market is going to sell on this candlestick formation. We got the sells with this bearish engulfing candle on the one hour time frame at this point. So next, I went to the 15 minute time frame and spotted another level, another key level too. Remember, focus on the sell side of the market. So, looking out for sell opportunities, we're looking out for level of support that got broke with all resistance to sell on them. So, we got this level as a level of support here. We got multiple buy trades on this level. The market bought from as a support, bought from here, bought from here. This support level got broken, we tested. 
sell to the downside, support broke return resistance, got the sales to the downside, got the market push back inside this level, but failed to break this highs. We got a high at this point, we got the previous highs at this zone, the highest highs of the market. So the market failed to break above this high, which is a price action signal. So in this formation, I have to wait for candlestick rejection at this zone. I have to wait for the sales at this point, which we got. So I went to the five minute time frame and so that we got the formation. This is a reversal pattern formation. We got the market to create this left shoulder, the left shoulder at this point, the head at this zone. This is a price action formation, basically a bearish reversal pattern to get into the trade. We got the left shoulder at this point. So on this formation, I was expecting the break of the neckline because on every reversal pattern formation, we got the neckline. So we got the neckline of this pattern formation at this zone, which was a level of resistance, turned support at this zone. The bar got broken. So for the market to break below this level with a candlestick close below it, I took myself at this zone, my stop loss at this point. You can see moving in good profit and more sales expected on this index. More sales expected on 25 index. We got this little retracement here because we got a break of structure at this zone so the market is trying to retest this broken level of support on resistance for more sales in the coming hours on 25 index so that's why i took the trade on 25 index hit the like button for more trade reviews like this don't forget to drop a good comment on this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel to my tiny viewers i appreciate your support for this engaging my videos chilling me so lot guys let's do more and have enough for day first tp is at this zone i've taken partials in this trade already so i'm leaving these positions to run up to our tp levels we've got the rejection at this point already so more sales expected from this zone so thank you guys and have a wonderful day. Peace.